After weeks of studying and preparing for the FE exam, the final week before the exam has arrived. You're ready to ace your upcoming exam, but you might be feeling stressed out and not sure if you prepared well enough. The last week prior to the FE exam is extremely important, and that's why in this week's Pass the FE exam video, I'm going to provide you with five actions that you should take during the last week that might be the difference between you passing the FE exam or not. But first, let me remind you that the FE exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure you pass the FE exam. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. We've been having some great discussions here in the comments of our videos. So let's talk about the week before the FE exam. Let me walk through five specific actions that you should consider taking during that last week. First, remember that studying for the FE exam is a process over a long period of time. It is not, and I repeat, it is not a test that you can cram for. So if you had a good study plan and approach going in, then this last week can and really should be used for more of a final review week and not a cram and learn everything you need to know type of week. That being said, Start the week by laying out a plan of what you will focus on by identifying the biggest areas you feel you still need to work on. So step one is your game plan for the week. And action number five, which I'll show you in a few minutes, will help you with this game plan. Number two, spend most of your time during the last week doing practice problems. Again, by the last week, you should have already studied the content for each of the sections on the exam. This last week should ideally be spent doing more practice problems. Now, when you are practicing problems, try to do so in a controlled, timed environment similar to what you will face during the exam. Many people do a ton of problems prior to the FE exam, but they rarely put themselves in a timed, pressure-like environment to replicate exam day. Most engineers can solve a problem with unlimited time. That's not what this test is about. You have to be able to solve a lot of problems in a finite amount of time. So spend your last few days doing just that. Number three, do not stay up late each night during the last week to cram in as much studying as possible. Remember, preparing for this exam is a process and should include a measured approach. If you stay up later than normal each night during that last week before the exam, by exam day, you may be worn out and not able to think clearly. I realize that in the moment, you may think that you are helping yourself by doing this, but you're probably doing more harm than good. Number four, stay active physically throughout the week. For many of us, being physically active keeps us mentally sharp. Don't overload yourself with studying to the point that you never get outside. You never move around. Again, this may wear you down to the point where you feel burnt out by exam day. Stay active. Keep exercising even if you have to sacrifice some studying time. Believe me, it will be worth it in the end. And if you're really worried about sacrificing your study time, consider multitasking and maybe reading over problems while you walk on a treadmill. But please keep active. Number five, the last action I will recommend here will be to do a full-on practice run-through exam. I already mentioned that you should spend the last week doing practice problems. However, if you can get enough problems or a sample exam, Consider starting the last week by going through a full practice exam similar to the real one. Spend an entire day, possibly the weekend before the exam, taking a full exam, timed, just like the real one. Afterwards, grade the exam and use your results to determine what problems to focus more on during that last week. Again, you want to put yourself in a pressure-filled, real exam-like conditions. Doing this will not only make the real exam a little less stressful, but will also ensure that you're focusing those last few days and studying in the right areas. Remember, you won't be able to learn all of the FE exam content the week before the exam, but how you handle the week before can have a big impact on your final result. 
Taking these five actions will go a long way towards making sure that you prepare yourself for the exam the best you can. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will be solving some more practice FE exam problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And I encourage you to please ask questions in the comments and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.